Hey, while you in the first five seconds of the video, go ahead, like and subscribe. How long a Negro last in America today? How long do a black man last in America? That's the question of the hour. Bring it out. How long does a black man live in America? In Chicago? How long? You're not too far past. You'd be lucky to make it past 30, right? You'd be lucky to make it past 21, right? God says he had he wants immortality for each and every last one of us. You understand? But we got so we gotta do something, Isaiah. We gotta keep the commandments of God. As men, we taught to be docile. Yeah, there you go, brother. Grab one. We taught to be docile. Here you go, bro. We taught to be, uh, we taught to talk low and speak soft. You understand? We've been taught that because a lot of us been raised by our mamas. A lot of us, uh, they just push that on us to talk soft. They show us in the, uh, what do they show, how do they show us in the media? We Bring it up. A lot of these, uh, TV shows and these little comedies on TV. We soft, we effeminate. Right. We ain't got no facial hair on our face. Uh, which is a commandment of God. I'm gonna prove that. The brother got a mighty beard right there. You gotta grow your. I don't know if you probably don't grow yet, but you gotta and grow. You shave it up. You gotta stop shaving, bro. Cause now you know you in Israel, like you a child of God. Christ had a big beard. You see the description right here. Christ spoke loud. He was a man. He was a lion. Imagine a lion without a mane, looking like a little kitty cat. A woman. That don't even make sense, right? That's really how God looks at us when He sees us when we shave our face. He's like, man, what is this? That's why it's there. It's there to grow out. He didn't, he, he didn't make any mistakes, you understand, Isaiah? God didn't make no mistakes. If he put hair on your face, bro, grow that thing out. You That's supposed to grow right. that hair out, you understand? Re All right, read, read that, uh, Leviticus uh, 21, read. This is the book of Leviticus, uh -huh. chapter 21, verse 5. Uh -huh. They shall not make boldness upon your head. So God, being God's children, God gave us rules. Marlo, uh, Isaiah, he gave us rules. Like, look, all right, just like if you have children, I don't know if anything that you do. But you get them rules. You got rules set in place for your children, right? In your household, right? How you doing, brother? You need a flyer? Give them a flyer. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yeah. Uh-huh. They be claiming to be Jews. Uh-huh. Who ever seen uh Curve Your Enthusiasm? I've never seen that. Uh, uh, Seinfeld? Bro, give us a give us a uh ever seen Seinfeld before? There? And an address, bro. I want to get this law for you real quick. Hold on, my brother. Hold he on, said, have you seen Seinfeld? I have Seinfeld. seen Seinfeld. I know he's a, a, a Jewish man, right? Jewish. He right. ain't no real Jew. He ain't no real Jew. Stand for a second. I'm going to show you that in the Bible. I, know, I want to show them that in the Bible. Revelation 2 and 9. Every Saturday. Every Saturday, bro. We keep the Sabbath day. Today is the Lord's Sabbath day. The seventh day of rest. All right. So, every yes, sir. Today is the Lord's Sabbath day. You're supposed to congregate. You're supposed to not cook or clean. I mean, I'm sorry. Not cook. You're not supposed to buy or sell. You understand? Uh, you're not supposed to work. It's the day of rest. Right? All right, so call that number, bro. Get with us and learn more, Marlo. Okay? Let me get the uh, law beer for uh, Isaiah. Read. Uh, Leviticus chapter 21, verse 5. Uh -huh. They shall not make boldness upon their head, uh -huh. neither shall they shave up the corners of their beard. So God said for his children, don't shave your head like Michael Jordan, like uh, Mayweather, like uh, a lot of our celebrities. They, what the first thing they do is they. They, they shave their head off. They shave their beard off. Come here, my brother. Did you know it's a commandment from God to not shave your beard? A beard is a badge of manly dignity. So you want to, you want to, you didn't know that until you walked up here today, right, Isaiah? And that's what we're here to do. We're here to give you the understanding of the Bible. Show you who you are. Remember, we talked about the prophets showing our people who they are and teaching them their past, the present, and the future. So the future for you, Isaiah, is rulership if you keep the commandments of God. That's right. The future for you is immortality. I know that's hard to see right now. You don't think a Negro, how long a Negro lasts in America today? How long do a black man last in America? That's the question of the hour. Bring it out. How long does a black man live in America? In Chicago? How long? You're not too far past, you'd be lucky to make it past 30, right? You'd be lucky to make it past 21, right? God says he, had, he wants immortality for each and every last one of us. You understand? But we got something we got to do something, Isaiah. 
We got to keep the commandments of God. You know, give me that in um, Re Revelation 14 and 12. We got It's something that we have to do in order to get this immortality. You understand? In order to get the kingdom of heaven or the kingdom of heaven. The kingdom of heaven is right here on earth. It's not the pie in the sky, right? It's right here on earth. It's going to be established right here on earth. You understand? That's right. And the other nations are going to build it for us. Yeah. All right? Read The book of Revelation chapter 14 verse 12. Uh -huh. Here is the patience of the saints. God said here is the patience of the saints. The saints are the so-called Israelites. I'm sorry, are the Israelites, the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Give me the saints real quick. I'm going to prove that by Isaiah. The saints are the Israelites. The Israelites are the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. You believe that, brother? You believe that? You believe that, brother, at the taco truck? And we the Israelites? Yeah. Believe we the Israelites? Come here, some things that we got to do. Knowing that we Israel, some things we got to do. All right, great. Simon. Psalm 148, verse 14. Uh -huh. He also exalted the heart of his people, mm -hmm. the praise of all his saints, uh -huh. even of the children of Israel. So the saints are the children of Israel. Go back to Revelation 14. God says, this is the patience of the saints. We got to have patience to get through this captivity, Isaiah. It takes patience to deal with people that want to rob you and kill you and harm you. It takes patience to deal with our sisters, to turn our sisters down that want to... Uh, sleep with you. It takes patience to do that. It takes patience to overcome sin because sin is all around us. So, but God says, here is your patience. Read. Here is the patience of the saints. Mm -hmm. Here are they that keep the commandments of God mm -hmm. and the faith of Jesus. God said, here are they that keep the commandments of God and the faith of Jesus Christ. So you have to do both. You got to keep the commandments of God and keep the faith of Jesus Christ. One of the commandments is that not to shave your beard as a man. So grow your beard. You can line it up. You can trim it down a little bit, right? But don't shave it completely off, Isaiah. You understand? Don't shave it completely off. God says you're, 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 you're a king, you're a prophet, you're a priest. So you have to walk accordingly. You understand? So you got a girlfriend? You don't have a girlfriend right now? Okay, good. Uh, you sleep around from women to women or, or what? You, you don't do that. Okay, all praise to the most high. You, so you, you mind your business. What's so, so you want to get married one day? Yeah. Okay, all praise to the most high. How do you, what does that look like though for a young, how old are you? 16. You 16? Okay, man, you, okay. 16 years old, what does that look like for a young black man? So you coming up, you in high school? Mm -hmm. so, so being a young man in high school, what are some of the challenges? What are some of the, the, uh, the, the uh, I guess the, the things that you face, the challenges that you face, just trying to go to school and get an education because school is just there so that we can get educated and get out here and get a job or a career, right? So that we can take care of ourselves, right? Mm -hmm. But going through school, going through high school in Chicago, what are some of the challenges or things that make it difficult for you to do that? Well, for a start, some of the kids are really going to be folks are, right? They're going to be going to school just to go to school. Like, right. They don't really, like, it's not an option for them. And then when they do go, that's not like their main focus. Like, they don't have no... They don't have no plan, like they don't have no future. They don't even Right. They can live in a moment. That's they live in a moment. That's kind of how they live. Wow, and this is school. Mm -hmm. So school is supposed to be a place of learning. What about some and temptations? Education. Huh? What about some temptations? Yeah, what are some temptations that they go through? Because you mentioned something, you said they not focused, right? They don't have a plan. What what are the distractions? What is tempt what are some of the temptations in high school? No, lack of learning. Like or just too late to actually put in my work. What are they distracted by though? Like, Females. Female. Uh-huh. Just skipping school, vaping, smoking, like just thing, other things that don't involve school. Like, they can be vaping, by smoking. Them. Yeah, I hear that a lot now. They're vaping these kids, vaping in grammar school now. They got again. the vapors. Yeah, they got the vapors. <laughs> they got the vapors, right. So, so vaping, so, so, so drugs? So these are the things that plague the Chicago public school system. Drugs, boredom, right? Uh, 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 sleeping from man to man, sleeping from girl to girl, right? Uh, doing drugs, skipping class, trying to uh, peer pressure. What about games? That, that plays a part too. Uh -huh. That's mostly out of school to in school. Right? Okay, good. Okay, good, good, good. So games, these different things, these influences that are uh, put that are in our, that plague our community that distract us from doing 
from becoming men. So you 16 years old, you wanna you wanna line your life up, you wanna have a plan. You understand? You wanna become a, 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 a father one day, right? You wanna become a husband one day, right? But you need to be taught how to do that, right? Right. Because who there's where's the it's not a lot of examples on fathers, on good fathers and good husbands, is there in our community? It's not a lot of examples of good fathers and good husbands in our community. Right? Would you agree? God, God told us that in the Bible. God, you, this, that curse is written in the Bible. You understand? Not having fathers, not having good husbands. These are things that fell upon us because we didn't keep the commandments of God. That's because right. The commandments of God teach us to be good fathers and be good husbands. I have one wife. Give me uh, uh, Hebrews 13 first, please. Hebrews 13 and 4. That's what the Bible teaches us. So a lot of our people go to church. It's a, it's, a, it's a song and dance. We get it. Give your money to the pastor. You feel real good. You know, then you go party afterwards. You go get high, you get drunk when you leave the church. Why? Because you ain't being taught nothing. So we out here, we got to come out here. We got to clean up the church's mess. We got to come out here. We got to clean up the nation of Islam mess that they created and show our people the way that they supposed to live. All right? All praise to the Most High for, for giving us the honor of doing that. Read it. This is a book of Hebrews, chapter 13, verse 4. Uh -huh. Marriage is honorable in all. God said in the Holy Bible, in Hebrews chapter 13, verse 4, that marriage is honorable in all. That should be, that should all you, that should be all we hear. Growing up as young sisters, growing up as young brothers, when you're 15, 16, the older men are supposed to be showing us how to be good fathers. Yeah. How to be showing you, how, how to be showing our daughters how to be good mothers yeah. and good wives, how to raise children. These are the things that's supposed to be taught in our community, but we so, I don't know where our minds are at, Bring it in out. Alcohol. Bring it out. In drugs. Bring it out. In our own selves. Right. Vain glory. We want to do live how we. A lot of our older men in their second childhood. Bring it out. They want to make up for the time they missed when they were younger. Right. And they don't pour into the younger men that's coming up. Right. Read. Marriage is honorable in all. It's one simple verse, one simple scripture that we could be teaching our young men that'll save their life, that'll that'll stop him from becoming a baby uh, uh, baby dead. That'll stop his 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 uh, child's mother from being a baby mama. Good. One simple scripture can change that, but we don't want to listen to the words of God. Bring it up. We too busy. We want to do our own thing. We got it all figured out. Black man, you ain't got nothing figured out. That's right. Read. Marriage is honorable in all. Read. And the bed undefiled. God said, when you marry, the bedroom is undefiled because that's your wife. What you do with that woman in your bedroom is between y'all as long as it's lawful in the eyes of God. Read. But who among us, an adulterous, God will judge. But what? But who among us? A whoremonger, Isaiah, is a man that sleeps from woman to woman to woman. That's a whoremonger. We glorify that today. We think it's cool. We tell our young men, our sons and our nephews, hey, you got a girlfriend yet? Hey, you hit that? Hey, she got a fat ass? Hey, how she look? This is what we teach to our young men. Bring we it out. We should be teaching them how to become husbands. That's right. Fathers. Root. Y'all destroying the communities. Read. Root. But homongous and adulterous. God said a man who sleeps from woman to woman and an adulterer, a married man that steps outside his marriage or a married woman that steps outside her marriage, read. God will judge. God will what? God will judge. Then you wonder why you got herpes. Right. Then you wonder why you got uh, AIDS. Right. Then you wonder why you got gonorrhea, chlamydia. You, Because God is judging you. Because if you were sleeping with your wife, sleeping with your husband, you wouldn't be in the clinic. Right. You wouldn't need a condom. You'll be producing babies, you'll be you'll be being fruitful and multiply as it's commanded, thus saith the Lord. Bring it out. Read. But who among us and adulterers, God will judge. Titus, Titus chapter 2. God is gonna judge who so for you, Isaiah, you stay celibate. You understand? Till you find a wife. You come learn on the brothers that's learned and teaching you God's laws and showing you the way to go. You understand? That's not telling you, hey man, hey, hey, let's go get up with these girls, man. Hey. To kick back over here, it's a party over there. Let's go. Let's go get drunk. Let's go get high. What is the nation? Nation is men leading by example. Nation is family.
robots. Nation is unity. Nation is you. And finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord.